Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Trending Reviews. So today I've got the Vantrue dash cam, which is the T2 model. I've got this on Amazon for about £130. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can buy it. I really wanted to set up my car dash cam system so I can record accidents that happen at any time. A little bit of security, a little bit of peace of mind. So I'm going to give you a quick unboxing and a setup and then hopefully some sample clips as well to see how it performs. So let's take a look. Right, so quickly going ahead, unboxing this. Now it comes with a user guide to set that up. And actually this was uh, a lot smaller than um, I expected it to be because um, on the Amazon listing with the picture, it actually seemed quite big. But that's how the T2 looks like. You've got the uh, LCD screen at the back. You've got your USB port on one side there. And then uh, at the bottom you have your uh, buttons to control it. You have your camera lens at the front. And then you have your connector for the, uh, the windscreen. So you've got your windscreen adapter to connect that with. And then you also have your ODB connector as well, which is uh, pretty convenient. It does come with an ODB connector. Most dash cams don't come with that. So it does actually uh, turn off when your car engine turns off, so it saves the uh, battery. So I will be connecting it using that. And then there's one more box in there. Just go ahead and open that as well, see what's in there. You have your USB cable. And lastly, you also have the uh, cigarette lighter. Uh, charging cable as well if you'd like to do it through there so I would be using it through USB instead because I do have a USB port in my car for those that don't they can use the uh, cigarette lighter port so let's put some of these things away and uh, start connecting it all right guys so I've got it in place now I'm gonna go for a quick test drive but just to quickly run through some of the features it comes with it's got the uh, built-in super capacitor and it's heat resistance the one thing I really like about it is I've got it connected with the ODB connection and it doesn't Based on the low voltage that it comes with, it won't drain the battery when you turn the car off. The dash cam will also turn off itself when the car engine turns off as well, so that's pretty convenient. Also, it's full HD in 1080p. I'm going to check the quality once I transfer it to my laptop, but I've heard really good reviews about it, so hopefully the quality is really good. I'm going to be driving around sunset time, so it's going to be a little bit dim lighting, so hopefully it will pick up like license plates and different things like that. So I'm going to be che checking that as well. It also comes with a super night vision with a Sony sensor, so I'm hoping at night time it will pick up all of the lights, all of the license plates, it can read signs and that kind of stuff, so I will test that out as well. It's also got 24 hour parking monitoring so it can sense motion if someone is walking in front of your car and hopefully it will start recording and saving that in a separate folder on the SD card as well so I'm looking forward to that. I've just put in a 256 gigabyte SD card in there, a mini SD and it's the maximum amount you can put in so you can't go for 512 or anything like that so 256 is the max and it has got loop recording so once it's full up it will start over recording the previous file so I'm hoping to get maybe a, at least a week's worth of video recording before it overlaps and overwrites each other as well so that will be pretty convenient it also has a uh, collision detection in it so if you do get hit it will sense the car shaking and that's something called a G sensor so once it does that it records the last five minutes and puts it into an uneditable unoverwritable folder and it just secures that so you can use that for insurance purposes and that will never get deleted so you can easily transfer that over once uh, a collision does happen and it also has a nice little features like a time-lapse mode and a GPS mode as well if you want that as an optional extra as well so that's pretty much all the specs I'm gonna quickly do a test drive now and hopefully give you guys a little demo and I know time flies by so fast still I'm thinking of you Oh, <laughs> 
right guys so that was it i hope you found that demo and review really useful so i think personally it is a very good dash cam it's quite sleek i like the design of it i like the fact that it's got all of these features but i think for the price you pay there is cheaper ones out there that will do the same thing the ones that i prefer are the ones that you get both the front and the back camera as well separately so you if you get hit from behind you'd also have captured footage of that accident as well but nonetheless this is a very good piece of equipment i do think if you are going to buy it the design wise it's really good i think the smaller ones out there which are a little bit cheaper but then i'm not sure of the longevity of it the one thing i really like is the uh, odb connection with this which you don't get on the other ones so that's a really good plus point from Vantru. As mentioned earlier, I'll leave all of the links in the description below. If there's any other questions that you'd like to ask, then please do leave them down below. I hope you liked the video. I hope you subscribe. I've got some awesome gadgets coming out for a lot of my cars, so keep an eye out for them. Until then, I will catch you guys next time. Take care.